is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're talking about a few different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about jeepers creepers a little nugget about jeepers creepers we'll be talking about i am legend 2 and then we'll conclude by talking about uh joker 2 fale i do so just to kick it off with scream 6 the scream 6 killer identities have been leaked so proceed with caution on this channel going forward proceed with caution anywhere online to be honest i'm not going to constantly put warnings about the leaks in every video unless i'm specifically addressing them with incomplete context now yesterday many of you know that the identity of the killer was leaked footage was being tossed around however the day prior a leak gained a lot of momentum related to the context that people are now associating with the leaked clip simply because the leaked clip is containing things within this other leak supposedly that back back it up now this information is ro mostly related to the mocker family i'll say that this is information that's not even disclosed in the video. There is no motive mentioned. There is no connection to anybody mentioned. Yet people are running with it because a part of what this other individual put out, Jared, is making its rounds on the internet and because this clip is backing it up in some fashion. This information has been denounced as false by viewer non i've stated it's false but viewer non has also chimed in to say that it's false and so if that if i wasn't enough for you viewer non has also chimed in to say that it is false but yet the leaks continue to be believed because it has stew in the mix and people want stew back that badly here's the thing one scream six having stew mocker involved in sydney prescott being absent i feel as though that would be an even bigger that would be an even bigger issue because sydney's not here and why is he going after why are people related to stew going after these people the 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 uh the uh, carpenter family instead of the prescotts it just doesn't make any sense narratively to me and jared seems to be also struggling with revealing that cameo and his theories contain layers of incest in them which is the biggest red flag as well now the film is releasing in three weeks or less at this point i will say this continue to remain calm listen to demi lovato's new track when it drops drink some water take care of yourself and enjoy the movie for what it has to offer if you can because the stuff that's coming out the context is coming out it's bullshit just to jump into Jeepers Creepers. Now, Jeepers Creepers, the series, it isn't happening, but I have a cool nugget to share with you guys. Those of you who follow me on Twitter probably already saw me tweet this last night. Jeepers Creepers did have a TV series made out of the Cathedral script that was turned into a first season for a possible show from Victor Salvo. We know Jonathan Breck talked about this in the past after the, the actual third movie that we got released originally in 2017. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the title of what episode one would have been. The episode one title has been shared with me by many trusted individuals, similar, similar to how I've shared images of the actor Lucas Adams, who did, yes, get the role to play Derry Jr. in the Cathedral movie, who we know was going to be Trisha's son, set 23 years later. Uh, this same information is coming from the same individuals who have been sharing with me the information that I know is credible. So episode one would have been titled Airborne. Now, the context of what went on in this episode is unknown to me, but Airborne, I can assume, ties into somebody being stalked by the Creeper the entire episode before they get taken into the air for liftoff, <laughs> obviously. Or it could also be a solo episode, let's say, dedicated to us spending time with the Taggarts until the episode ends with the Creeper taking flight once more. Again, this isn't happening. I just know my Jeepers fans out there would enjoy knowing about this little nugget that was sent my way. I do think a Taggart-centric episode, if they were to do something like that would be very cool it's like a introduction to the series we get to spend a whole episode with the taggarts on their farm learning what they've been through over the past 23 years learning what they've been doing with the creeper while it's hanging in the barn only for the episode to end with the creeper being reawakened and the 23 day cycle starting now just to jump into i am legend 2 we have some plot updates on i am legend 2 thanks to writer writer akiva goldman who is returning for will smith and michael b jordan's upcoming sequel this comes from deadline this latest report uh this is what he had to say about the movie he said it starts a few decades later than the first i'm obsessed with the last of us where we see the world just post-apocalyptic or just post-apocalypse but also after a 20 30 year lapse you see how the earth reclaims the world and there's something beautiful in the question of as man steps away from being the primary tenant what happens that will be especially visual in new york I don't know if they'll climb up the Empire State Building, but the possibilities are endless. He went on to continue to say, we trace back to the original uh, book and the alternate ending as opposed to the release ending in the original film. 
Uh, what Ma what Matheson was talking about was the man's time on the planet as the dominant species has come to an end. That's a really interesting thing we're going to get to explore in the upcoming sequel. There will be a little more fidelity to the original text. So the alternate ending is the one that it seems we will be going off of, like many had already assumed. It's nice to have it confirmed. So let me know if you were excited for I Am Legend 2 down in the comment section below. I was beginning to think that this project was DOA because it just went silent. I was looking forward to the project and I was looking forward to seeing what they would do. And when they announced that Will Smith will be back, everybody immediately assumed that of course you would be going off of the alternate ending. You can't go off the other one. <laughs> so the minute we found out Will Smith will be back, you're like, ah, they're going off of the alternate ending because since that is an officially released ending, that's an ending you can go off of. You don't have to go off of the theatrical one. You literally have two officially released cuts of the movie that you can expand upon. Now, granted, if you don't like the sequel, you can always not watch the one with the alternate ending. You can always watch the theatrical release versions, which I think is pretty cool for people who might not like this upcoming sequel and want to pretend it doesn't exist. At least you have two official cuts that can be considered canon now. So let me know if you're looking forward to I Am Legend 2 again down in the comment section below. What do you hope to see from the movie as well? Now, lastly, we're going to talk about Joker 2. Now, our first look at Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn has arrived. Gaga shared this image over on Instagram, and while the image may not be what you expected for a first look, I do enjoy it for the most part. I'm eager to see the chemistry that her and Phoenix have on screen together while bringing this mad love angle tonight, or to life, I meant to say. <laughs> Joker 2 has been reported to mostly occur inside of Arkham Asylum. We have the musical element that's caused some divide. I believe the story is also expected to be told from Quinn's POV at, points as, at times as well. This should be a wild ride that we have coming our way. And this image of these two in this deranged love angle that we're going to see evolve over time in, in the movie definitely might be something that keeps us on the edge, something that keeps us curious. And I just have a good feeling about the performances we're going to get out of these two when it comes to what we are about to see in Joker Fale I'll do. Now, are you excited for Joker Fale I'll do? Do you not care? Are you still concerned about the musical aspect or have you grown to accept that there's a chance that this could be a very good thing? Uh, because I think reports also came out saying that this wouldn't be like that Melissa Barrera sequel in the Heights. Um, or maybe they did say it would be like that. I think what they said would it wouldn't be like Grease. I can't really recall. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.